Until quite recently, we've been focused uh, on carbon dioxide emissions reduction. But actually, what are we going to do with the 1,500 plus gigatons of carbon dioxide that will persist in the atmosphere? Um, that's our focus at Seafields, to scrub those past emissions. So Seafield started when I was contacted by Sebastian Stevens, and he sent me a link to a podcast. And in that podcast, hosted by uh, Mar fernandez Mendez, who's now one of our co-founders, um, she interviews Dr. Victor Smetacek. And he talks to this amazing brown seaweed called sargassum, which has loads of uses from anything from biodiesel to bioplastic. Um, but his principal aim is to bail this sargassum, drop it to the bottom of the ocean, and there it stays and sequesters the carbon dioxide, removing it ultimately from the atmosphere. So I am Seafield's uh, lead scientific advisor, and my role is basically to make sure that everything that we do is science-based, is transparent, and it's according to our latest uh, findings. So it means that we're trying to sequester the carbon from the atmosphere and store it safely in the ocean. And so the ocean is already taking up a lot of carbon, and we're just trying to enhance that process. Seafields has conducted already preliminary studies uh, close to Mexico where there's a lot of sargassum and we tested for example how fast uh, the sargassum decomposes. It has been absorbed from the atmosphere, from the water, it basically sank down. How easy it is to track the sargassum in the water when it's floating and for that we used uh, drones. We also tested if we can identify how healthy the sargassum is. And uh, we also try to start processing the sargassum and see how to wrap it in order to bail it and, and sink it. So the first step is to go offshore from Cape Verde where we'll have a pilot farm. Then in the spring of 2023, we'll start deploying pipes in our eventual location um, in the middle of the Atlantic. You can't underestimate the challenge of building stuff like this in the middle of the ocean. The oceans are by default salty, corrosive, windy, wavy. They're you know, incredibly challenging environments. Um, so we have to engineer this in such a way that it's, it's very easy to fix things if something goes wrong. But we're definitely up to the challenge and we've got the right team to achieve that. My name is Richard Wills and I am a farmer and my role within Seafields is to work out the operations and logistics of making the seaweed farm a reality in the mid-ocean. So we've got uh, barriers that we'll be using to uh, hold the seaweed in. We'll also be using drones to track the seaweed from above, so we'll be able to harvest any stuff that escapes. Sargassum is actually an amazing seaweed because it can grow floating during its entire life cycle, so you don't need any substrate to actually grow it. And the second one is that it's growing super fast, and also it has a very high carbon to nutrient ratio, which means it's super efficient. So it can take up a lot of carbon with very little nutrients. And actually what we hope to achieve beyond just the gigaton per annum that we'll be sequestering is to inspire an entire industry of sargassum aquafarmers. You know, so that, that that scale of one gigaton is actually far greater because other people are helping us to also remove past emissions. If you want to get involved and find out more about Seafields, visit us at www.seafields.eco. Um, we're on the usual social media sites, so please come and follow us. Um, we're always looking for investors, partners, collaborators. So if you think you can help us in any way, please do reach out.